Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. Ali, you, could you get the questions, oh, please? You need my pace? There you go, yes. <laughs> there you what are you, what are you what? doing? What? Look at that. Oh, oh man. How warm is it going to be in Austin at 3 o'clock in the afternoon? Well, we're in November, so hopefully not all, yeah. near, almost November. So it's in LA. It's in LA, the game. Yes. Oh, is it? Yes. yes. First yeah. of all, there we go. Let's go to the warm. There we are. Jan, I assume are you in a hotel in Leicester tonight? No, I'm uh, back in London because I'm doing Arsenal against Forest tomorrow. Oh, so I've been on a beautiful Come train. On, Forrest. <laughs> Come on, Forrest. Come on, Forrest. Did someone just up the music just to shut Jan up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like the Oscars. I know. They didn't, they didn't know what they were going to say. And how's your day been, Aidan? What have you done with yourself? Uh, I was in London this morning, actually. Made my way back, watched a few games, and yeah, here we are. Wow, there you are. Long day. Right, for Stevie. Lots of questions for you, Stevie, as you can imagine. Oh, good. <laughs> Is Liverpool only chance to qualify for next year's Champions League by winning this year's Champions League? <laughs> you, you, you came up with some nonsense during the game. No, oh, hold on a second. <laughs> because you said... All I said was... You said it... I didn't say... Hold on. I, it, was, it was delivered... <laughs> In a tone of, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what tone is that? What tone is that? Well, I was sitting thinking. Deep thoughts, deep thoughts. I was sitting thinking, I'm going, you know what? I sat in 10th, 10th, is it? And I'm thinking, you know what? It didn't do Chelsea any harm not to be in Europe when, when that year Conte came. It didn't, do, it didn't do Chelsea any harm at all. And I was thinking, would it really do Liverpool that much harm? For just that one year, not to Whoa. be in Europe. But you need new players, and well, new players aren't going to be attracted, are they, to Liverpool without Champions no, League? No, 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 you can't see that. I think no, you can. That, that's, if I'm Jude Bellingham, I'm not going to go, I'm going to go for Borussia Dortmund and in yeah, the Champions yeah. League yeah. to yeah. Liverpool. Conference, Conference League! No, yeah. Conference no, League! No. no, 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 that's not, that's, that, I don't believe that for a second. Because when Chelsea didn't get into Europe, they managed to get Antonio Conte, who was one of the, the most sought after managers, so well, what's the face for? I just I, I don't even think you I don't, you don't you even believe. Do you know what? Even when you give him facts, he doesn't like I it. I don't think you believe what you're you know, saying. Facts. Oh I am I'm, I'm just thinking if you're not gonna win the Champions League, I don't know about any other Liverpool fan, but I, number one, I absolutely loathe that conference nonsense. Right. <laughs> And then I'm asking myself, do I really want to be in the Europa League? But how are you going to attract players, but Stevie? If you're out for one season, it's not going to change. If you're Jude Bellingham, do you think, oh, but Jude Bellingham, it's fine. If you're Jude Bellingham, <laughs> you're Jude. Bellingham, you're Jude. <laughs> By the way, we want you to take us from where we are to winning the Champions League again. But Real Madrid won but me Stevie. and they're already in the Champions League. <laughs> <laughs> Stevie, what's wrong with being in the championship for one year as well? <laughs> Steady. Steady. I expect that sort of behaviour from him. <laughs> uh, Naden, seeing Costa in a wool shirt is still weird for some fans. When you changed clubs, which club kit felt weird when you first put it on for a match? How long did it take before you felt comfortable in your new kit? <laughs> Good question. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that is, that is a good question. I think it's not necessarily to the shirt, it's just a different environment, the different set of fans. And like, say if you've been at a place for a long time, say like I was at City or whatever, you've got all the good faith, everyone knows what you're about, you turn up, you know all the people, but then next thing you're at a new club and you've got to try and sort of like show them who you are, but that doesn't happen very quickly. So them seeing you in your shirt, they want to see what you're made of, but you know, being like a defender for a team that's probably not that good, it's not that easy to just all of a sudden have the best feelings ever. So I think to talk about specifically my time at QPR, honestly, it took about three years to win them over because wow. they just hated everybody that came in my sort of time there. But by the end, it was all good. But yeah, putting on that different shirt and sort of having to learn about a new club, I think wherever you go, you know, it is different, but in time you, you sort of figure it out and you, as soon as you feel a part of the team, the shirt makes perfect sense. But those early few weeks and stuff, it's just trying to figure it all out, really. How was it for you? Because you were, harder you were with in Liverpool for ages, wasn't it? I know, but you know what's in my head right now? It's the complete opposite. If you turn the question on its head... I right. still can't believe I wore an Arsenal kit when I was young. I still think about it and go, did I really wear an Arsenal kit? Well, at least you've got over your Arsenal hate. Yes. Honestly. <laughs> Even more so now with you. I can't believe I wore that. Why'd you wear an Arsenal kit? <laughs> Who was it? That... The school team. Muirhead Primary School team I played for. They... And we wore an Arsenal kit. Wow. And I think about it now and I go, can't believe I wore an Arsenal kit. Wow. Right. Right. 
I thought like Doncaster Rovers or something like that from Liverpool would <laughs> no. be no. Sheffield playing, Wednesday. No. no, no, you're playing football. Right, just pull the jersey on. Put anything on. <laughs> anything <laughs> you give it. <laughs> Go on, Jan. No, I'm just saying that it's, it's harder when you come to. Uh, this is seriously when you come to your new. When, when you have big ties as I do, it's harder with it. No, don't, don't talk about the shirt. It's about the shorts. Oh, if you come to a club where the shorts <laughs> are too small, that is terrible. I mean, it, it can seem this can seem as a as a one of thousand problem because this is practically the hardest thing when you come to a new club as I did I changed some clubs and when you came down the shorts were a bit too small and you went to the kids manager and he told you a sentence of two words and it was tough in the first games that, that's exactly what I wanted today when I woke up get an image of Jan Hagefjord's of thighs in my head that's good Beautiful. That's what your wife yeah. did as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Lovely. Good. All right. For Stevie. Stevie, should Liverpool sign Somerville in the next window? <laughs> it's like Michael Thomas. If you can't beat him, sign him. I'm not saying the answer here. Shoot the boy. The way you say stupid boy, well, it is something. <laughs> 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 uh, Maiden, did you look at your player ratings after a match? Uh, of course you did. I did when I was first coming through. Yeah, when I was first coming through. <laughs> For the last probably six, seven years, I couldn't care less. Right. You know, because you just realize the most important thing is like your manager still wants to play you and your teammates still think you're a good player. But some of the player ratings, like in time, I just realized for some of the guys doing it, obviously, as you can see from Stevie's today, there's not that much thought that tends to go into it. You know, so why take it personally? You know, you, you think your whole life is hinged on it and then you realize it doesn't actually matter because deep down nobody cares, not even the person writing them. Uh, Jan, did you look at yours? Yeah, I did. Uh, and when, when we lost the game, I want, they didn't want to read the papers. They're just going to go away. And this was before internet when I played football. But but Dan, can I ask you something about this this Stevie Nickel guy? Uh, because as we have as we have fans all around the world, and I, and I get people come to me when I, I'm in England. They will talk about Stevie. They will talk about things we talk about. But you have to explain it, why he got that thing on his neck, on his shoulder. Because if people see extra time for the first time, they don't know that there's something wrong with his arm. You looks like, <laughs> look at this guy thing on, the, on your back. What is it? This is not let the me, part of his suit, Let me Steve, tell you something, Jan. <laughs> you may not have seen me today. Oh, he fell over again today. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, but the world doesn't know that. The world doesn't know what's wrong with you, Stevie. Okay. Well, well they, they do, but not about your hand. I think they do, Jack. <laughs> Short and sharp, I fell over the dog, landed on my shoulder, and I had rotator cuff surgery. There you go. And, it, you've had, and it's been a long time, it's, yes? It's, it's one of those things, it takes forever. Right. Anyway, I went for a okay, walk thanks, today. Thanks for telling me. Yeah. I went for a walk today with my wife and the dog. And we were going up the woods, and because of the leaves, on the path was a huge, not huge, but there was a rock and the bit of it was sticking out mm. and of course I never saw it because of the leaves, yes. hit it and down I went. <laughs> yeah. And so as I'm, fortunately I'm falling straight and I managed to turn myself <laughs> to the other shoulder and land on the other shoulder. <laughs> I mean, I talk about, you talk about lucky. Oh. And <laughs> by, by the way, we've got Thanks. a hero, hero in our midst today um, because Ali saved someone's life. I, 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 think, I, think, I think that's what we're going to. Say. That's how we're going to say it. Uh, basically, Ali, you were coming to work. Someone was on a mobility scooter coming down yeah. the hill. They fell off the mobility scooter into the middle of the road. Yeah. Wow. And you leap out the car, put your own life at risk to save somebody else's. Is that well? Oh, something fantastic. Something like that, but. He needed help and a couple of us got out of our cars and were able to lift him again onto the uh, sidewalk. Uh, and he started up his machine again and there he went and we're just like, well, I guess he's all right then. There you go. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, well done, well done. It's, 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 a, it's a glimpse into Stevie's future. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, yeah, that's just, not the future you want. Yeah, just, can you just drift, <laughs> drift around my hood? <laughs> yeah, just keep circling. <laughs> Ready to pick him up. Keep <laughs> saying, saying. Kiss a fall. You know, you know I, I will tell you, I will tell you. So th there was a, a lady that was coming on the opposite direction. Okay. And as this... In a car. Yes, and as, as this person fell over on the... Uh, oh, she could have hit him. Yes, and so then she goes further, stops the car, comes back around, and then says, oh my God, 
I was so scared. I thought I was gonna hit him. And I'm thinking, while well, I'm helping this person here, <laughs> right? I'm thinking, this is not about you. Oh dear. <laughs> Seems nice. You were, mm. I was portraying you as a nice hero. No, 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 I, I didn't, no. I didn't, I didn't, poor woman. I know. I didn't say that to her. But this is what I'm thinking <laughs> while I'm helping this person. But we're, it, we're making it up. Hey, is this guy in the wheelchair that we need to help? Uh, right now, your emotions. I don't know that that's a priority. Oh wow. But, but Dan, Dan, you're a fantastic host, but I, I, I think that when Steve is starting by a story where he is a victim of the, a terrible accident, and by, by then we're going to give him all the respect in the world and all the comfort, you let you put another hero in the studio, in Al. <laughs> well, I can't believe that. <laughs> I mean. uh, there we go. Well, right. Do you still go walking in the woods with your friends of a morning, Jan? You need to give Stevie some tips. No, I'm in England all the time, so they they, they they say, see you tomorrow at 6.45, and I say, yes, I'm in Leicester. Oh, so that's, no. sorry. Uh, you can meet up with yeah, Leicester yeah. and walk around Rush home. Be nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> but we well, can't take my friends over, you know. I don't have so many friends. What? <laughs> if you know... You, I used to work in Rush home. Uh, if you know you have a weak back line, <laughs> then why do you insist with the slowest person who provides the least cover in the central of midfield for every single match? So the solution seems obvious, but why is Xavi so reluctant to use FDJ as the lone pivot? Uh, well, so obviously I think, got Busquets. Yeah, so I, it's, it's not as simple as I take Busquets out, I put Frankie de Jong in, which is what would be the straightforward solution. But this is a decision that has more nuance to it, given the fact that if you're Xavi, you've already decided that Jordi Alba is not a long-term plan. You've already decided that Gerard Piqué is out of the picture. And to take yet another big name, big personality, with so much success, with so much history in the club, and say, no, nope, you're out as well, you have to be really, really sure. I think we're getting closer now than we were before, but those transitions are never easy. <laughs> it's the final tweet, and I promise you it's not from me. Mm. We talked about this a lot <laughs> during the pre-season. Why do I not believe it? Conte obviously making his team <laughs> run up and down the pitch a lot, yes? Right. For Stevie, how impressed are you now with hindsight at Conte's pre-season training methods involving 40-plus lengths of the pitch, given Spurs' incredible comeback today? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with it. Much maligned, Steve. Yeah. yeah. Well, if they'd done it two or three other times, then maybe they would have started playing from the start of the game and not the end. Right. So that, <laughs> that answer makes about as much sense as the question. Right? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's over, over and out. What? It's a tough day for Stevie. This is a tough day. Uh, that oh. brings us to the end of today's show. Thank you very much. Enjoy enjoy the Arsenal game, Jan. Uh, Nathan, what are you doing tomorrow? Thank you. Forest. Come on, Forest at home. Yeah, I'm going down to London again. Got oh. some more work to do. No. But yeah. oh, big time. Big right. time in London, eh? There we go. <laughs> yeah, we have to see the ratings again, please. Yes, the NFC. Arsenal at home against Forest. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.